Welcome back guys. So this week we are working on putting trim on our roof here on top of the saw shed. Uh, so that's going to be our rake edges which are what goes along the, uh, the slanted edges of it as well as our ridge cap that comes along here on top. Now in case anybody is curious uh, the air temperature today is supposed to get up to around like 85 degrees I think something in that range. The north side is sitting around 125 degrees Fahrenheit right now and the south side is up closer to about 135 degrees Fahrenheit. So even though the air temperature isn't too bad, it's still pretty toasty up here on top of the roof right now. So the other day that we were out here, it just got too hot. I said, now, got the one uh, end done there, got all the edge on that. And then I just called it quits for the day. I had a couple other little things to work on, so that was just fine. Today we're back out here. It's quite nice out. It's like 75 degrees out, so cooler. It's fairly cloudy out today too, so that's gonna help keep it a little bit cooler up here as well. The first thing that we need to do today is the panels are about three foot two inch wide and that way when you overlap the one panel onto the next one uh, it uses up that extra two inch overlap each time except you do end up with two inches extra beyond the three foot panel and our roof is exactly 36 feet long so we've got a little bit extra uh, sticking off the edge and we need to cut that off so that we can fit our rake edge over that. Now when we cut it off, uh, I am going to leave a little bit of a lip, a uh, little bit of that last rib left on there. Uh, that way if there is any water that works its way underneath uh, the, uh, the rake edge there, it won't be able to go over the edge and hit um, the wood over there. That'll help kind of keep it on the panel as it flows down each one of those. So with that done, now we can move on to putting our rake edge on this end. All right, we had a brief intermission there. One of my uh, neighbors, and by neighbor I mean he lives another four or five miles down the road. Uh, he's working on a project himself and he texted me and said, uh, you don't happen to have any scraps of like roofing underlayment or felt or something like that, felt paper around, do you? I said, yeah, sure. You know, I said, not a lot of scraps, but I got half a roll left. I said, you're welcome to it. So he just stopped by and picked that up. And of course we had to talk for a little while. So now we're getting back to getting this uh, rake edge here finished up. All right, we got our rake edge on, so now it's time to start working on the ridge cap. All right, we're down to our very last piece of ridge cap to put on.
Okay, that is all the pieces now that are hooked down to the roof. We do still, of course, have to go through and put in all of the screws uh, in between on all these panels. The only part that we've got done is that half of the short side. Uh, we still have to fill in everywhere else on here, so we're going to go ahead and start on that. We're going to start over on this side for two reasons. One, because it's starting to get some shade over here, and two, because it's starting to get some shade over here. And those are both very good reasons. So we're gonna go ahead and start over here on the long side right now and start knocking some of these screws out. All right, so I've got five more rows of screws put in here and I've got another five left to go on the long side and then that equals about two and a half rows that I have left on the short side to do. Now I've been doing a little figuring and I actually don't have enough screws to do this. The guy told me that I would have enough to do it spacing it at the spacing that I'm doing them at. But there are definitely not going to be enough screws here. I'm short like half a bag worth of screws. So I need to go back and look at my invoice, make sure I got the number of bags I was supposed to get. And if I did, looks like I'm going to have to go and get another bag of those to be able to finish this off. I do, however, have one bag of them left, so that should be about enough to finish off the long side here, get that done, and then maybe start a little bit on the short side, finishing the other half of that, and then I'll have to get more of those. Mm -hmm. 